Euphoria. It was the first script, I think, that I had, like, raced through. And there was just, like, an immediate, like, um, feeling. And I was like, I have to be a part of this. It's a story that follows this group of kids trying to navigate the world today. And it's from their perspective. There is a, an incredible amount of judgment sort of levied against younger people for being on social media. Mm -hmm. And it's always sort of perceived as this sort of narcissistic pursuit. How do you navigate this world that's changing Every month day. to month? Yeah. yeah. And I think one of the biggest hurdles with this show is how do we create empathy for this generation in an older generation? I'm very happy for you, Ruth. You're about to start a brand new chapter. Personally, writing about my own experiences and my, my battles with addiction as a teenager becomes therapeutic in a way. This show can't be written by anyone else because it's so personal. I understand Rue, and for some reason, and I can't really describe it, but she doesn't feel like a huge departure from who I am, right. which, is, which is, you would think, weird. For someone who, who's you know, never done drugs, and stuff, it feels very real. I feel like I'm watching a version of myself navigating the world at, at a young age, and I'm looking at it from almost a parental perspective, right. which is so strange <laughs> and, and really moving. I have this idea that basically all the characters are just like different facets of your personality. On many levels, and, and particularly Rue's journey and, and Jules's. There is this consistent anxiety that I think exists in this generation. That, I think, informed, I think, the whole filmmaking process, just the way in which we were going to light the night exteriors. The use of close-ups feel surreal. It harkens back, I think, to that feeling of when you're young and you're, you're alone on a street, that it's the world feels so much bigger than you. I think another thing that's important to mention also is like the rhythm of the show. It's always something is happening, you know, like it's ever moving. There's this push and pull of it that becomes so exciting. You're going like, how can we push this? How can we, how can we take this further? The biggest challenge in making anything that deals with, I think, tough subjects in teenagers in general is wanting to be sort of open about the drugs and the sex. In not a shock value kind of way, you yeah. know what I mean? And I think that there's a real responsibility that any artist has to grapple with, the highs, the lows, the joy, the pain, and the trauma, if they're going to put, put it on, it on camera, screen. Yeah. There's so many people in this show to care about. It's what excited me was the, was the psychological exploration and finding the love and the empathy for the characters. So there's a hopefulness to it. I had made a new best friend and for the first time since getting out of rehab. I was feeling good about the world. I think what we wanted to create was telling a story that's realistic and authentic. And I think that it's hard to bear it alone, deal with depression and anxiety, and being able to form friendships and be honest with about who you are as a person have the ability, I think, to change your life. It's somebody's story, and that's what, you know, we're really here to do is tell people's story. Whoever needs to connect with it or see it or watch it will find their way to it. And I think that's the most beautiful thing about this show.